What's going on everyone, Mr. Khan here once again with another quick hitter. This time we're going to be talking about the first Great Awakening. Kind of talking about what happened in uh, North America at that time in the colonies and what impact the Great Awakening had on the people that lived there. Let's get it going. In the early 1700s, revolutions in both religious and non-religious thought transformed the Western world. These movements began in Europe and affected life in the American colonies. After years of population growth, religious leaders wanted to spread religious feeling throughout the colonies. In the late 1730s, these ministers began holding revivals, emotional gatherings where people came together to hear sermons. Many American colonists experienced a great awakening in their religious lives. The Great Awakening, a religious movement that swept through the colonies in the 1730s and 1740s, changed colonial religion. It also affected social and political life. Jonathan Edwards of Massachusetts was one of the most important leaders of the Great Awakening. His dramatic sermons told sinners to seek forgiveness for their sins or face punishment in hell forever. British minister George Whitfield held revivals for Georgia to New England. The Great Awakening drew people of different regions, classes, and races. Women, members of minority groups, and poor people often took part in services. Ministers from different colonies met and shared ideas with one another. This represented one of the few exchanges between colonies. The Great Awakening promoted ideas that may also have affected colonial politics. Sermons about the spiritual equality of all people led some colonists to begin demanding more political equality. Revivals became popular places to talk about political and social issues. People from those colonies with less political freedom were thus introduced to more democratic systems used in other colonies. There you have it guys, that is our quick header over the first Great Awakening. So just a couple of things to recap, was a religious movement that spread through England and their colonies. It gave people a idea of political freedom because of spiritual freedom and became a more democratic form of government in these colonies because of that. All right, we'll see y'all later.